video and today we're going to be talking about 14 important apps that I think you would be able to utilize and make your overall experience better on the Blackberry Classic. So go into your, your browser and then go into Google and you're going to type the Blackberry Play Store. And the first application that we're going to install, which I did on my Blackberry Classic, was I downloaded the Play Store using the instructions in this website. So after you have that Play Store on your device, you're going to be able to actually utilize more apps. And we're going to go through some of those different applications right now. So the first one that I normally would recommend downloading from here is going to be inside of the, you know, the Play Store. And it's going to be WhatsApp. And basically, this app is really cool because you can message your friends and family members internationally for free of charge, no matter where wherever you are in the world. And it doesn't cost you anything to do so. So I definitely think that for this app to be working in 2020 on the BlackBerry Classic, it's definitely an essential app for people who like to communicate with each other. So that's the uh, second app. The first one was the Play Store, but you can see right here, it's easily able to install onto the BlackBerry Classic. And now you can just set up your account um, and enter your information. Now, another application that you can download straight from the Play Store is the Messenger Lite application. Now, this application is really cool because you can also message people from around the world anywhere internationally and there's no charge except for whatever your data on your cell phone is using so i think that's actually pretty sick because if you plan on you know taking advantage of your you know communication you can do so with those apps so i definitely think that's a really good thing to see and something that's really cool but Another app that I definitely think is going to be really helpful is the Facebook Lite app. So y y there's a lot of Facebook apps um, that you can try to download, but not a lot of a lot of them that I've tried haven't worked. But when I went and tried this app right here called the Facebook Lite app, it worked perfectly fine. And I was able to basically download it and, you know, like it had the Facebook stories, it had everything, all the features. And so I'll leave a link from my google drive so you can actually download that down below in the description area but yeah this is a really cool app because you could look at the stories and everything like that and i think it's a really cool application if you want to stay in touch with what friends and family members are doing on their their posts on live like you know like uh you know facebook live or whatever but that's another really cool app so that's the fourth app but the fifth app that you can get is also in the Play Store. So just keep going um, through these apps. And if you find them fit, then download it. But if not, just skip over to the next one. But the next app that we're going to go ahead and install, this the fifth one, is the uh, Google Chrome browser. So this app will come in handy because you will be able to sync it to your Google Chrome browser from and uh, pretty much sign into Google and you have all your information saved through your Google account, which I think is really nice. And, you know, like a lot of things that you can access through the Google applications uh, browser, such as banking and different websites that you could look up information from. Uh, another app is called Color Notes, and that's the seventh app. And Color Notes allows you to say, sync all your stuff either via Facebook or Google. And I've been using this app for over 10 years now. So I've have, I have really old notes synced up from a long period of time. So it's just been an app that I've been using for notes for a long period of time. And I think it comes in handy. So um, yeah, I definitely like using that application as well that you can download from the Play Store. After you download the Play Store, you'll be able to get it pretty easy. And then if you just type in the um, Google search bar or like in the web browser, APK Gold, you'll be able to get the kindle i'll leave a link down below where you can get the amazon kindle but if you plan on like actually like using this phone for um you know like swiping then with this with the pill on the bottom or the 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 little thing and right there the little wheel 
you can actually scroll the pages with that thing. So it's it's really awesome to use when you're reading and you know the screen is plenty big enough just to just to read a book on. So it's not a bad experience whatsoever. So I definitely think that's a cool experience as well. But the next app you should probably download, this is number on nine, I think, or eight or nine is uh, I just lost track. But what you want to do is download uh, APK Pure Store Market, which is like a, a app market. And so now you're going to have the Play Store and the APK Pure Market. And so basically what you'll be able to do is download that to your uh, device and now you'll have access to over millions of apps that are available on this you know like market and um, you know there's no issues whatsoever but then you're gonna download Firefox from the APK peer market just to type in APK peer and um, once you get the um, APK peer app type in um, Firefox in the app uh, in the fire in the APK app and then you'll be able to get the browser Firefox so another thing that I also did was I downloaded Google Drive from the the Play Store and then that's an actually really good app to have when you're your Blackberry because now you can back up files and access files and um, another app that I did find really helpful is Spotify. Now Spotify is really cool because on this phone it works perfectly fine and I'll try to leave as many links down below as I possibly can so you can get these apps or you could just see the version that they are in the video and then just search for it. You can just pause the video and search for the version of the app but I'll leave a link down below for all of them and um let me just show you right here. Another thing that's really cool is Y Music. So you could literally just get this from the browser. Just type Y Music, download the APK, and you're going to have uh, uh, pretty much unlimited music. If you like podcasts, then you'll be able to listen to your podcasts or YouTube Live or anything on YouTube. It'll stream it from this app from, from your phone. And then you'll be able to get access to um, millions of um you know, like anything you want to listen to with the screen locked. So that, that includes music, that includes like, you know, pretty much anything. It just won't show a video. So I think that's cool. And I also did download Google Maps, which is going to be handy because uh, a lot of people think a lot of things are on Google Maps. And um, this does have the latest version on, on the Play Store. So it's going to be updated. So it's going to be pretty cool if you have that. But another thing that I did download was the OG Instagram. And after you get Instagram, you'll be able to get, um, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, the access to have Instagram on your BlackBerry device as an app, not just on the web browser. I was using Firefox to get um, the, the social media. But then I just, you know, found this way so you can download the OG Instagram, which is actually pretty cool. And you can zoom in on pictures and you could double tap to like. So it's a good experience on this device as well. And if you go into the APK, Mar APK Pure Market, you could go ahead and just type uh, video tube player. And this is the closest thing I found to a YouTube application. But once you download that application from APK Pure Market, you will be able to, uh, you, could, you could actually subscribe to all of your YouTube channels and you can literally watch uh, live um, videos. Like when your, peep, when your peeps go live, you can watch their videos on this app. But um, I think that's pretty cool as well. So uh, the next app we're gonna talk about is Netflix. Now, once you get Netflix, you're really um, going to be popping because you can just, you know, watch videos on your phone as well. But uh, that's an, a really cool app to have on this phone because it's just going to be really loud and really clear. And overall, it's going to perform really well. But if you found this video helpful and these top apps that you need in 2020 helpful.